Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceRestore.com and today we're standing in front of a 1973 Datsun 240Z or for American friends 240Z. Uh, this is an interesting build. Uh, we had a lot of fun with it and we basically just want to share with you some of the features, upgrades and changes we've made to this car. Um, it has found a new home in Germany so it's been sold and it's just getting ready to be picked up for its new home in Germany. So basically you can see on your far side, the Datsun never came with these white stripes down the center. And uh, so we thought it would look nice to have the white stripes with, uh, with an outline band. It's a really nice black uh, paint finish. Um, you can tell by the stance of the vehicle, it's slightly lower. So the springs in the rear and the front of the vehicle have been lowered down. We've upgraded the drive line. So it originally came with a 2.4 liter engine, uh, straight six. Uh, this is a newer engine, a newer drive line. So this is out of the 1977 uh, Datsun 280. So it's a 2.8 upgraded engine, 2.8 six cylinder. Instead of having the normal four speed manual transmission, it has the newer five speed manual. So it has the overdrive transmission. So much nicer ride and power. So in terms of detail, I'll just pop the hood and we'll take a look underneath to see uh, some of the upgrades and how tidy and clean it is under the hood. So it, I apologize for it being dirty. Um, we've, we've driven it quite a few times and it's quite dusty. But as you can see under the hood, the engine's nice and clean. Uh, cooling has been upgraded. So the drawback to these Datsuns um, was always cooling. They always had a little bit of issues and people wished there was a better way to cool these motors. So we have an upgraded aluminum rad with two electric fans, and then we have a rheostat built in with an adjustable thermostat, so it will adjust and uh, turn the fans on and off as needed. Um, as you come around the engine, you'll see that we've got shock tower braces. Um, everything basically has been upgraded and like new, so we have uh, a new clutch cylinder, uh, we have um, a fairly new uh, brake booster master cylinder. Little details, we have a nice billet uh, lids that all have the Z or the Z letter on them. Um, you'll see the same thing on the oil filler. So there's lots of nice little details on top of the rad, same thing. So some nice custom little touches that we've done. Um, and then we've got a, a new Napa battery on the other side with the door that opens up. We have the nice braided protectors over top of the, uh, the spark plugs, or spark plug wire, sorry. Um, but lots of nice detail. And if you come around to the front of the vehicle, um, you'll obviously notice that we've got, these are an aftermarket uh, Lexan cover and they're removable. So I put them on just to show, to give the car a little bit of a different look or a different appearance. Th these are not for everyone, but they're molded quite nice. The shape is nice. It has a gasket that comes all the way around and there's only three screws that, um, that fasten onto clips. The clips on the inside of the original surround or a two-way tape. So they're removable. So if you don't like this Lexan look or this cover and want the more stock look, um, this can be changed very easily. So we just did that just to show a little bit different appearance. You'll notice below that we have the aftermarket spoiler. So it has the chin spoiler that goes across. And then we have upgraded driving lights, which are high intensity LED um, lights. And we have a switch in the console for that. As we come down this side, You'll see once again the stance, so we have an uh, aftermarket alloy wheel, kind of a, a five spoke look uh, with more of a Toyo performance type tire. As you come down this way, you'll see once again the engine bay. If you look over on the, uh, on the passenger side wheel well, you'll notice we've got a brand new fuel filter there. Just above it is uh, the factory uh, under hood light. And below that, most importantly, is the original uh, Datsun plate. So that plate has all the information for the vehicle. Most Datsun 240Zs or Zs that we, uh, we encountered are missing that plate. So it's nice to have that. And as we come down along the side, down the passenger side, once again, you'll see the stance and the, uh, so the body is uh, basically, we haven't modified anything. A lot of people will change Things like the flares, the lines of the quarter panel and so on, but it's such a beautiful body line that this was left as original. And you can see once again with the stance, just a little bit lower. So the gap between uh, the top of the tire, there's lots of clearance there, but it just gives it a nicer stance. And when we look on the inside, 
um, the whole interior has been redone. So we have new door panels on the side here. We have all um, new hardware, armrest, handle and bezels. Uh, when you see inside the door jams, you'll notice everything is all nice and clean. This has all been sanded and, and done. Uh, this is all new weather stripping coming all the way across. Uh, what we've done is these are original 73 seats, but we've had them redone. So they're a, a leather and suede with some nice accent white stitching. You notice the 240Z or 240Z embroidery. Uh, we have hats to match. So basically, uh, we've taken the original seat, added a little bit of extra foam in the sides, and have suede on the inside with white stitching, which is a nice feature. And then we've got the, the new carpeting and an upgraded stereo. And uh, when we come around the other side, we'll see the steering wheel and so on. We'll see we've got new uh, insignias here. We come along the side, we've kept the original look chrome bumper. Most people that will do a, a 240 build um, these are, are generally badly pitted and rusted, so most times what they'll do is they will paint this, do a more of a monochrome look, which um, I prefer, just personally, I prefer to have the chrome. We've updated or upgraded this, the exhaust system. We have a, a tuned exhaust and muffler, and then we've changed the tailpipe uh, to give it a little more of an accent. And then we come inside the hatch. Uh, just a little bit of detail underneath here, you'll see in the, uh, the suspension on, on both sides, instead of having that exposed metal uh, with the top of the struts where the covers are, that's all been upholstered and stitched to match. And then we have the bar, the reinforcement bar, uh, bar going across, uh, which just gives it some extra stability and support. And then the mat, uh, we had the, the Z or Z um, embroidered in the, in the back of the carpet. And then um, We've got an extra fuel filter and oil filter that we always have here for each uh, each vehicle that we do tuning and that sort of thing. So that'll be going with the car uh, to Germany. And then as we come down this side, has a manual antenna that will go all the way down. And then we we'll come into the driver's side. A um, couple of interesting things. You've got a really nice uh, original wood steering wheel, uh, authentic Datsun wheel. Um, if you come around. You've got just an aftermarket armrest with cup holders, um, and then you've got the, the other uh, plate, uh, Datsun plate, on the sill. You can see there's plugs on that post above and below for access for rust proofing uh, to keep this car nice for years and years. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we've got a new headliner. So the headliner is all new, um, and the seating, the carpeting, and once again, door panels on this side and then uh, upgraded stereo. It's a retro sound car stereo and uh, it has a built-in microphone here that we've, it's adjustable and it's set for hands-free. Um, so quite a nice vehicle and tastefully done. It's not over the top. We didn't want to go overly dramatic in terms of, of changing a body too much. And uh, so basically it's a, it's a subtle, a subtle upgrade in terms of engine, suspension, braking, and that sort of thing. And we're quite happy with it. So it's kind of a shame to see it go. But it's going to a good home in Germany. And I encourage you to visit our website. It's lastchanceautorestore.com. And I'm John. My email address, if you'd like to reach me, it's john at lastchanceautorestore.com. And thank you for watching.